Alright, um, today I'm going to do a uh, front grill block on a Corolla, Toyota Corolla 2006 model. And uh, previously I did a front grill block on the other car and I gained 15%. That's like for every $100 I spent on gas, I saved $15. And that's just from blocking the front grill that much area on the front of the car and uh, today I'm trying to do the same thing for this car and uh, this is uh, Corolla 2006 and it's gonna be the same for all Corolla from 2003 to 2008 and what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna use uh, some piece of wood 6 of them 6 of these I got 2 in already and uh, let me show you this is a bit cha challenging because uh, on the back it's not really straight but it is angled. It's it it's at an angle on the back. So if you put a, a piece of wood on the back to support it, it will be at an angle. And the front is straight. I want the front to be straight. Of course, right? Because I want the panel, the front panel to be straight. But the back is angle. So I have to maneuver the piece of wood the that's on the back to be uh, as much parallel to the front and uh, the only way to secure it is by clamping it to this flimsy piece of plastic right here I have no other way to uh, secure it and uh, this is quite flimsy but uh, I think it's gonna hold and um, I have to use two screws one on the top and one on the bottom and let me show you what it is like in here so see the top screw over there the bottom screw over there so one on the top and one on the bottom and a uh, sandwich between this thing to hold this piece in in place in order for me to put in the uh, white chloroplast and by the way this is a chloroplast uh, it's plastic and it looks just like cardboard paper except that it's plastic and uh, my car happened to be white so I have this white piece so it's gonna match with the car color so I have to do all I have to do is just put it in and I do not have to paint it so that's a good thing and um, so my next step is to put in the other four pieces so one one pair in the middle right here and the other pair is at the corner and uh, that should be enough to hold my chloroplast in place alright so I have secure all of the uh, wood panel uh, to get it uh, ready to mount the front cover Chloroplast to the wood panel, and uh, I have drilled the holes. So two holes for each for each wood panel. So like that, two holes, two holes here, two holes there, and the screw is gonna go in there like so, right? Actually, 
go to washer the screw and the washer is going to go in here and secure to the wood panel alright so I've done putting the uh, white chloroplast uh, over the front here and I've used uh, six screws two screws for each uh, piece of wood and uh, I've also painted the the two screws on the right here painted white uh, for two reasons number one that will make it less obvious as you can see here it it's it's uh, less obvious than these four screws are right here which I haven't painted them yet and number two is to prevent rust um, These screws are cheap screw I got in my toolbox, and um, eventually they're gonna rust, and when they rust, they're gonna drip down, drip down like so, yellow is fluid, and that doesn't make my Corolla look like a million dollar Corolla anymore, you know. It's going to depreciate the value of my car. Just kidding. Anyway, uh, well, that just doesn't look good. So I have to paint it. And then I think next, after the paint dry, I'm going to use silicone to make a, to add in a small layer of silicone to further prevent the rust. But for right now, uh, that's what it looks like and um, I, I hope to gain about 15% uh, efficiency out of this uh, modification and uh, that was what I got when uh, I did it on the other car and this car before before this I got about 38, 39 miles per gallon. Sometimes I got 40, but uh, it's probably the wind um, and the terrain also. But uh, average about 38, 39, and hopefully with this I can get around 42 to 45 miles per gallon. And uh, my next project is gonna be the bottom, the bottom of my car. Um, let's see if I can show you the bottom. It's missing all the panels, and it all look naked right now. My car got into an accident, and uh, I've lost all the panels. So, uh, next project. I'm going to make a really big panel and cover almost, I mean, whatever I can cover on the bottom. Probably uh, the entire front here and probably some in the back. And believe it or not, the bottom of the car contributes to as much as 30% drag, air drag. When uh, you drive uh, mostly on the freeway, so making it flat, making the bottom flat, will make your car uh, a lot more aerodynamic and uh, therefore more fuel efficient. But that's uh, that's the next project. For right now, um, this is what it looked like for my. Uh, front grill block and uh, that's all I have for now thank you for watching